three rooms, costume last. All right, so apparently we didn't get the real ending last time, and we have to do it from the beginning. Uh, you did it badly. This segment, there's like a, yeah. I'm Megan Wolf, and I'm Jeremy Jones. Our main headlines tonight. Sure. Uh, yeah. Thank you. That's all coming up on time. Oh, no. It's loud. My freaking ears. <laughs> Live and spooky? Oh, for two. Live and spooky. I prefer taped and nice. Live free, die spooky. Mm. Ah, Winston, welcome to your voluntary, see also compulsory night shift. Now, it's a little different from the news, but tonight you'll be working on one of our most popular fictional reality TV shows. I hear they're all the rage. Obviously, no one important has to do the graveyard shift, so I'll be clocking out now. I'll leave you in the capable hands of Diane. Toodaloo. Hi, Alex. Welcome to the Live and Spooky team. Live. Tonight, we're broadcasting live from an old film studio which is haunted by the vengeful spirit of a woman found dead in the basement. Costume room you last, right? Yeah. Just yep. before we start, three rooms, we costume don't do last. Adverts here, but we do have some old film reels to play in. The projector is hooked into your advert buttons and will automatically. Like it in the world. It self loads the films for you and then converts them so they're ready to be broadcast. Unfortunately, all three it says are boo. fire damaged, but no other copies uh -oh. exist, so we'll just have to make do with bits missing. Just remember to hit the add button at the end of each segment to play the films. Oh, and that device on the right that's the spirit jammer. It prevents uh. the of the I think from my shirt showed on the hem when the door would budge. Please help, I'm getting hungry in here and I'm going to be late for the day orgy. Unacceptable. Not one to miss. That's just some of tomorrow's treats here on Channel One. But now, without further ado, it's time to turn out the light. All right, Wayne, we're going live at five. As we pass the airwaves over to the paranormal. Are you receiving me, Can you hear that? Should I start fate. doing eyeliner? Have you ever heard fake? Keep hope behind you with yeah. The yeah? That was like an enthusiastic yeah. Like, is it stupid that I haven't been up to now? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Tonight we've come to a wretched place to uncover a dangerous case. Welcome. To the Bannon Sound Stage. Once a thriving studio at the forefront of innovation until tragedy. The horrifying accident. Honest question. Do Scottish people know they sound like that? No. Okay. Join me, Wayne. Because it seems. I've never really understood. Psychic communicator. Having an accent that isn't to a good accent <laughs> because like you could like in the way that you can do a different accent do a different accent like the way you're doing it is wrong Jesus Christ you're not supposed to talk like this <laughs> so, for the sake of the audience, every now and then we help things along by using these ghost effect buttons. Our team has set up some little special effects around the building to spice things up. When Wayne needs an effect, they'll light up. Pick one of these four buttons to trigger the ghostly effects. The effect you choose will cue them, we'll where, we cue them where to go next. So I don't want to do the coat hanger until last, I guess. Old 
features a very special guest, journalist, broadcaster, and all-round truth seeker, Patrick Banner. Oh no, to be clear, I just I meant eyeliner just in regular life, not for wrestling. I'm excited, Wayne. Can't say I'm excited about this dust though. It plays havoc with my allergies. Now, Patrick. What's that love? Oh my, my Patrick. I'm hearing from the spirit world. Well, that's not how you say world. You can't just say world, world and pretend that's a word. It's not okay. I'm cracking down on accents. But you have a breathing is off the job. And of course, we're joined as usual by our paranormal investigator and supernatural scientist, Dr. Ahmed. Excuse me, Dr. Ahmed. What is an EMF? I am the accent police. And you're under arrest for having a bad accent. Sometimes I forget that not everyone is as well versed in the terminology as myself and Mr. Spirit Whistle here. So, EMF stands for electric magnetic field. Essentially, it is a measurable energy signature given off by all forms of spectral phenomena. And that thing being off the charts, is that a good thing? Wait, this guy is Scottish. Well, I mean, yes. higher tends to mean that there is either a stronger presence or even... How did you knew? How did you knew? <laughs> and, of course, seeing that we're in the business of hunting ghosts, I'd say, yes, it's definitely a good thing. Mm. Words to trust there, Mr. Bannon. Mind if you do a Malaysian accent for me? No, I'll go to jail. Expert! <laughs> what do you have for us this evening, Pet? Well, I've actually stumbled onto something of a breakthrough here, Wayne. <laughs> I've managed to the light spectrum visible to the human eye by refracting the fucking the younger guy is just so good at faces. Yeah. <laughs> into the spirit world. Ah, yes. Let's get the ghost cam switch on. Oscillating optoelectronics. Boom. Boom. What was that for? Branching, oscillating, octahedral, optoelectronics. Yes, exactly. That's what I said. <laughs> but of course, I do need a shorter name for that. Boom. Boom. Of course, I do need a shorter name for that. Please stop doing that. Yes, Mr. Banner, please do stop scaring yeah. poor Dr. Ahmed. Please stop scaring poor Dr. Ahmed. Thank you, Mr. Dispirit Whistle. So, tonight... Never forget the British made up their accent to differentiate them from the new settlers in America. That's true. Should we come into any problematic American is the real accent. Additionally, I have taken the liberty of installing my Speak American. New devices all over the building. We might actually be able to broadcast the image of a ghost. First time. Exciting stuff! And now, Patrick, your father. I do like that lady, that white lady. Let's be clear, who had a stroke and woke up with foreign accent syndrome, and now just talks with an offensive Chinese accent for the rest of her damn life. Or, hear me out. She's faking because it's funny. A script that blows the mind of studio execs and leaves them scrapping as a tool get to make it. It was called Dying is Another Man's Job and starred Graham as a daring do-gooder. Maybe they just evolved independently thousands of miles apart for 400 years. Maybe you spelled independently wrong. Ah, Counterpoint. Be the start of something much more sinister. Three disasters struck, each more calamitous than the last. And shortly after the tragic events that... <laughs> what is funny, the accent or her doing the accent? What's great about this is both. Love a stoat animal. Built in 57, the Bannon Sound Stage was to be the home of a brand new televisual sensation of a scale never, never screens before. Damned woman. Ah, the spirit. Doomed to roam the wings and the halls forevermore. So I thought somebody said three different rooms. Someone did say there are four buttons. But that doesn't mean three rooms, because I would presume you're in a room now, and then you can go to three more, which would be a total, hear me out, of four. Which room are we in now? This one. There's four buttons. 
succeeded. So what do I, can somebody, the person who was explaining this earlier, can you just make sure that I do the right thing here? I will. Is there like a manual save? There is not. Flourishing enterprise. Wait, wait. Who's there? Who's there? A spirit beckons. <gasps> we can test out the branching octahedral oscillating optoelectronics. Boom! Ah. Ah. You get four choices, but go through three. So yes. I want to pick yes. any of the top three, and then on the third choice, I pick the code hanging. Any moment now. They speak to me, Lord. Take a ghost effect, Alex. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we getting this? Tell me What's the set? What should I do for the second one? Saw or barbell? What a jellyfish would say. On acid. Saw or barbell? Some sort of light. Yes. Dumbbell, I mean. Who are you calling a dumbbell? The departed are patient. The departed. The stage is the location of Brent Backflip's failed stunt where he plunged to the ground below. I like the Brent Backflip. Yeah. Vaults, where the dark secrets he contains. This is where the cameras would roll, both decoratively and literally, <laughs> at least until the installation of bricks. Where they wanted to bring us to stage, the scene of the accident. To stage. How are you feeling? I'll be honest, what? How are you feeling? In shock. <laughs> it's quite overwhelming to stand where misfortune stood, isn't it? Oh no, it's not that. Look! Oh no, it's not that. The house the Baron built. In this very room, a crew member. Brent backflip. That's it. Brent backflip fell during a stunt that went mysterious. Brent backflip was really born into his trade. Yeah, the truth is certainly vital to this process. Yeah, the truth is certainly vital. Yes, I sense a lot of conflict. Was Brent backflip related to David Brent? Yes, because that's how first and last names work. He was a drinker. Alcohol? Mainly, yes. Why will the county play by his own rules? A criminal record as long as we are. Ah, that long. Yeah, that long. My father knew he was a wrong man, but he hired him anyway for his immaculate moustache and his Moustache! A decision he stood firmly by. As I suspected, conflict. The energy is staring around us, Patrick. It's as if we've angered it. It's as if we've angered it. We are your servants, wispy ones. Lead us closer to the truth. I'll show you a wispy one. Shout at me if I don't notice the countdown on the thing again, because I almost missed that one. Okay. A real working environment. Yeah, yeah, certainly something. Uh, are we looking for a farm or a zoo or something? Uh, no, uh, a world of marvels to be sure, Patrick, but not animals. The not marvels? Um, yeah. Uh, a place of it's my favorite one. Where people would gather I thought they could never top uh, Captain Marvel. My heretofore favorite Marvel movie, but then boom, Marvels comes out. Forget about it. New number one. The workshop performed the final checks on all props, sets, and costumes before they were used for building. There have been no direct ties between this place and Brent Backflip's Exodus place. Yet. What terrible secrets might this dusty domain contain? A workshop, somewhere designed for creation, for crafting, for crying wolf? No, Mr. Bannon. 
This is where misfortune <laughs> gathered, culminating in a terrible accident. So this is the second room you're in now? Yes. So next one, costume? Yes. My dad did say the only good bit of acting Brent ever did was when he was in that courtroom demanding compensation. There were a great many plausible causes for Does anyone else remember that Brie Larson was in 21 Jump Street? The show? She would have been too young. That's ridiculous. Maybe you mean the movie. Probably do. Others claim the prop that Brent had to carry was far too heavy and the prop master should never have allowed its use. And still others argue there was the fault of the man in question that Brent backflip didn't act carefully enough despite all the precautions that were made for his safety. Yeah, I think Dad agreed. It was definitely one or all of those Live by the stunt, you die by the stunt, Brent. nothing to do with the fact that he made Brent wear handcuffs for the climbing up the side of the building stunt. I wonder if there isn't another equally probable explanation there, Mr. Bannon. One less to do with the living and more to do with the living and past. And, and dumbbells. Obviously, you have to have the dumbbells. They were vital to Meh. the character arc. I mean, you can't do heroics without a quick bench press. Well, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> He's really good. He's the best. Yeah, clearly something went terribly wrong, and the one man paid the price. The question we want to answer is: Was it really an accident, or was something more sinister? Sinister. Sinister. Funny. That's what Dad said in the court case. They said This guy's British accent is so crazy it makes the other guy's British accent sound okay. Something the presence here needs us to pay attention to. They intend to lead us to our final There we go. Boom. Look at you. Yes, spirits, rise, rise. Yes, right, please. Thank you. Where does our journey end? Show us. Oh, Bam. see that? Nice. She threw us on me. There yeah, must be some sort of water, guys. It's a tie. The spirits must be showing us where to go. Well, for the designs, they need to go by, mate. It's a cry for help. Oh. Uh, come on, mate. Must have acted the spirits. <laughs> The costume room was the place where poor red backflips failed harness costume was created. It was the home to the late costume designer Marie Murphy, one of the suspects in this insidious mystery. And, most terrifying of all, it contains dangerous amounts of noxious fabric. Ah! Please don't crash. <laughs> Uh, he's chugging. Easy now. My computer is steady. It's seen better days. Steady. The scene of a bloody crime, more like. Murder. No willful endangerment by gross negligence, but still. Could this be Marie's final confession? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Angry woman accidentally hurts. Dude, apparently there's different accents within the British accent. Yes, there are, and they're all varying degrees of silly. They all just basically sound like different kinds of pirates. Truth seekers, to expose what really happened here. And now we know the origin of the accident. The chaos can begin to do Language. Yes, spirits, what do you wish for us to see? Do you wish us to see you at the shade Show us your pussy. That, that wasn't... Mm. Right. What? Hey, what do you make of that? Uh, looks like a lot of paperwork from Bannon Productions. Uh, invoices, receipts. Uh, look here, we got, got a cancelled purchase order um, from, a, from, from a high grade nylon polymer. Um, and instead, they placed an order from cut price keys, cut price cloths. And the letter. Here, Marie. Regard your correspondence at the fourth. How often your budget is slashed and why is none of your concern? Nor is it your place to make safety regulations. They kindly stop squawking. Do your goddamn job. Do not force me. I love writing a letter to a woman to tell her to shut up. Ah! This is live and spooky. Sorry. Sorry. 
Let's get back to Dr. Ahmed. Do you can do, do anything with that in like the, the projector thing at the bottom? Uh, it'll just do it automatically. We'll show you some never before seen documentary footage. Yes, yeah, so it was originally ordered cancelled out of respect. Um... Ah, my time! Oh, crazy time! Stand by to hit the play button. Stand by to hit the play button. Adam, remember. Good name. Nightfall report. Tonight we bring you a special program where we take a closer look behind the scenes of a forthcoming television sensation. Okay. Masterminded by Graham Bannon, seen here at the Chesterton Casino, the project is as yet untitled. Promises to revolutionise entertainment. Bannon has just completed construction on this state-of-the-art studio and production facility, and despite his apparent fortune, Bannon decided to seek outside investment for this extravagant expenditure. With a price tag into the millions, it's a move that has raised eyebrows across the business world. Rehearsals are now well underway here, and it seems Bannon is quite the taskmaster. Taskmaster? That's another British thing. And briefly, an American thing with Reggie Watts. There have been suggestions that oh. things are not as yeah. they seem. What do you think about that shit? Was that one good? Is good? It's all right. I mean, Reggie's cool. It's certainly unexpected for a family variety act to be catapulted so quickly into the spotlight. But if the executives queuing around the block Who was on it? These new and I couldn't be believe really how they looked now. Is it Lisa Lampanelli and she it, she lost like 200 pounds and changed her hair and I'm like that's Lisa Lampanelli. That's right. If you're just joining us in part one, we actually through communicating with the spirits themselves. In the second segment, the cast one by one gets interrupted by the guests. They all die regardless, but if you choose the order at which they die, make sure Holly dies first and Patrick last. How do I make sure that happens? How do we? Yeah. How do we choose that? In part two, we are joined by. Holly. 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 She has the sight. She will be a spiritual guide to us all in the end, I feel. We will gladly follow. Let's kill Holly. mystery is the fire that wrapped the building shortly before production was halted. Nothing could be proven at the time, but it was widely believed to be the fault of the costume girl, Marie Murphy. She was asking for it. The poor woman took her own life on these very premises. And while the fire seemed to originate from the projection room, as of yet, we've been unable to gain access to the room itself. Unfortunately, our good-for-nothing cameraman Gavin has gone for the world's longest slash, so we'll be going hand So all four cast members... Up. Oh. Fuck. Damn it, shit. Oh, shit. Great. Now there's ghosts everywhere. You can be volatile. You can be violent. If you find yourself in trouble, simply exude a strong need for assistance of my attuned senses. Or bring me blood and quit if you like. All right. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, everyone. Off you. Oops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Just keep all the lights green on the spirit jammer for the person you want to keep alive. Sorry, keep the lights green on this on the one you want to survive. I'm so confused. How do I keep the lights green on it? Ah. Uh, a wall here. This is really cool. Can hear water really trickling. Cool. Good question. Normally, when you go oh, is it just by like going to their camera? To get things at night. It's to be in a sort of, as you can see, it's in a sort of a uh, uh, lighting thing now. Uh, lighting thing now. Can't much longer, can it? I've got Oh, no. Oh, it's no. it's from who I'm not talking Oh, shit. Oh, don't kill our boy. Shit. Not our beautiful boy. How did I 
How do I uh, stop it? Uh, oh. Jamming. Fuck! Had it. Ah! Keep Patrick alive. Gonna die? How? I screwed up. I think it's maybe not not a lost cause yet. Restart. Yeah, I have to restart. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be Patrick no matter what that I have to try to keep alive first anyway. But I just have to do better. Yeah. Masterminded by Graham Bannon, seen here at the Chesterton Casino, the project is, as yet untitled, promises to revolutionize entertainment. Bannon has just completed construction on this state-of-the-art studio and production You can facility. replay the segment and from the checkpoint how many fortune. times you want. Bannon it gets more difficult, though. You can adjust the difficulty from the menu. Just I didn't do anything! Rehearsals are now well underway here, and it seems Bannon is quite the taskmaster. I'm not going to change the difficulty. God. Have I made my 420 votes? Are we allowed to vote Jean Dillman? Because we're trying to get Jean Dilma and Madam Web. Those are the big Jean Dilma would be great to hear Derek say the full title. Oh my God! Can you even imagine? Or someone actually asked a good question. Do you think Derek Savage supports Israel or Palestine? I don't know. I don't either. It's like, it's hard to guess even, because like, his politics are all over the place. But I do feel like he tends to gravitate towards the wrong take, so probably is real. Mm -hmm. Let's ask him. Derek, probably is fake. Give us a call. Give us a call live on the air. Let us know where you stand on the Middle East. Or the Far East. How do you feel about that? China or Japan? I think the fart. East. Fart East? Well, based on his new clips, yeah. Mm. He likes True. the dirty dog, she but... <laughs> she will be a spiritual guide to us all in the end, I feel. Oops. I think... I think Derek's disease is progressing. <laughs> I think he's getting sicker. And I think we should try to help him. His disease is more progressive than he is. <laughs> Low bar, but okay. It was widely believed to be the fault of the costume girl, Marie... Before charges could be drawn up, the poor woman took her own life on these very premises. And while the fire seemed to originate from the projection room, as of yet, we've been unable to gain access to the room itself. Unfortunately, our good for nothing cameraman Gavin has gone for the world's longest slash, so. We'll be slash? Is that like a P? It's slang for a P, and I don't mind it. It's kind of a fun one. Come on. What the fuck? Why didn't that work? I was pressing it. Did you press RB? I did. Did you press it hard? Yeah, and I was doing the... Oh, maybe that's just like a thing to show me that it happened. That's probably just the... Yeah, okay. Maybe I can't do anything there. I don't know what was up with that. Good luck, everyone! Alright, so Holly first, Patrick last. Which one's Patrick? Mustache? The guy we love? I think the guy we love. Okay. That's Holly. So you see those readouts on their screens? Mm -hmm. That shows how safe they are from spiritual yeah, to I guess it has their I subtitles, so I can tell that way. That? that is Patrick. Okay. No, this is Patrick. <laughs> this sign I've had. It says to calm downstairs. There's a, there's a wall here. This is really cool. You can hear water trickling. And normally, when you're going low and you hear water, it's like the river sticks. It to be in a sort of, if you can see this, in a sort of a, a lighting thing now. Lighting thing now. Okay. Can't much longer, can it? I've got 
Because I'm. Can you see this? All right. Ready, spaghetti. I'll go. You got this. Which one? Hello? Oops. Uh, What's right happening? trigger Y, A. Right. Oh, fuck! I can't believe I didn't do it right! I think you didn't do it's it right. It's so demanding! It do be like that. I was just figuring it I'm out. Just, I'm just trying I'll try to... a few more times on I'm this just difficulty. Trying to learn. Go on. That really doesn't give you any it's, room to mess up. That is demanding, in fact. Now, the did, uh, Mosorde Rex, did you say that every time you redo it, the difficulty goes up unless you change it in the settings? No. Okay. Bannon has just completed construction on this state-of-the-art studio and production facility, and despite his apparent fortune, Bannon decided to seek outside investment for this... Oh, so you can see Cool Cat answer that question. <laughs> hey, Cool Cat, does your dad support Israel or Palestine? Daddy Derek, he supports America. <laughs> Asked and answered. Yeah, so so Israel is the is the answer. It's certainly unexpected for a family variety act to be catapulted so quickly into the spotlight. But if the executives queuing around the block or anything to go by, these new scripts of his must be really something special. Welcome back to Live and Spooky, where we just had a breakthrough. That's a breakthrough. Right. If you're just joining us, in part I'm talking one, ridiculous. We actually through communicating with the spirits themselves. I can't so believe I sound like this. Devastating accident. Yeah, libel, slander, defamation, pick one, delete as appropriate. Uh, Graham Bannon's miserly negligence. In part two, we are joined by... Holly. Holly. Yes. Holly. She... Yeah, I guess Derek she will be sides with whichever results in more shooting in the <laughs> desert. His passion. Um, it's kind of bad, Sonics. Nothing could be proven at the time, but it was widely believed to be the fault of the costume girl, Marie Murphy. Look, I know you're from Before Argentina, and uh, Argentina uh, housed a lot of uh, people from the last country that did a bunch of genocide, so maybe you sympathize a bit. But I get <laughs> Who among us hasn't done Gavin has gone for the world's Fair. longest slash, so we'll be going... Handheld for this one. Let he who has never done a genocide cast the first stone. Yeah, it won't let me on that one. That's just to let me know that it's a thing. The dead can be volatile. It can be violent. If you find yourself in trouble, simply exude a strong need for assistance of my attuned senses. Or bring me running quick as you like. All right. Good luck, everyone. Off <laughs> you. It doesn't take that long to get back. Yeah. Okay. So you see those readouts on their screens? That shows how safe they are from spiritual yeah, interference. They're nice and calm and green, so no problems there. Um, I like how I have to fiddle with knobs to save them <laughs> in the control room. For the lighting for each actor. I got a knob you can fiddle with. This is really cool. So there's so much over here. When you're going low. Nobody in the crew would have come back here to to get things like lighting. To be in a sort of, if you can see this, in a sort All right. of. All uh, right, I'm ready. Uh, right trigger. Fucking ready. And right bumper. 
quite much longer, can it? I've got... There's, um... Can you see this? Oh, God. I'm so ready. So sweet. We're trying. Hello? Come on. Fuck, I was so glad I was one notch off on the left. No! Bum, 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 ba, I was so close. Ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba. I accidentally hit the, if I didn't accidentally hit the left notch once, that would have, I would have barely made it. I accidentally, fuck. It's true. It's true, man. <sighs> I can't wait to kill Holly. Masterminded by Graham Bannon, seen here at the Chesterton Casino, the project is as yet untitled. Promises to revolutionize uh. entertainment. Bannon has just completed construction on the state. <laughs> Let he who has not committed genocide commit the next genocide. <laughs> Let he who learned from the best commit the next genocide. are now well underway here and it seems Bannon is quite the taskmaster. This is how hard it was to edit Venus Williams' titty off those Oscars. Oh yeah. That was funny. It was awesome. However, there have been suggestions I forgot about that. It was pretty cool. Seen. With Bannon decrying claims that his vast gambling debts have left him on the brink of bankruptcy as Did that make it in the live feed? I forget. It's like the actual titty? I think it like some, cut away really quick. Some live feeds, I think. Otherwise, how would we know about Got it? Got some titty, yeah. Noted movie star Venus Williams. Spooky, where we've just had a breakthrough. That's right. If you're just joining us, in part one, we actually, through communicating with the spirits themselves, <clears throat> Solve the mystery of Brent Backflip's devastating accident. Yeah, live Holly first, Patrick last, right? Yes. Uh, Graham Bannon's miserly negligence. You miss I a... Couldn't imagine, there's like two higher difficulties than this. It's don't even... Don't even think about that. Holly. That's crazy talk. Yes. Holly. She you miss 100% of the genocides you don't commit. <laughs> Benjamin Netanyahu. All in the end, I feel. And we will gladly... Follow. Will Smith. <laughs> you miss a hundred percent of the Chris Rocks you don't slap. It's true. Remember when Kanye West went on Alex Jones and brought a bottle of Yuhu and like kept making a Benjamin Net and Yuhu joke? Oh yeah. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Unfortunately, uh. our good for nothing cameraman Gavin has gone for the world's longest slash, so we'll be going hand. Yeah, it takes no time at all. Oh, yes, Alex. We're already back here. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all! Stupid sexy SpongeBob. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Nothing at all! Yeah! Good luck, everyone! Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all! Sonics. Fun story. My grandpa was Italian and was in Italy on the Second World War. So one time I asked him, so, were you on the bad side? And he told me that he actually was one of the good Italians that fought against Nazis from the beginning because he was part of La Resistenza. Uh, also, Sonics, your grandpa is a liar. Spooky ghost. He was a fascist. I actually remember agreeing to specifically wander around in the dark on my own. What is that? It's a light switch. Uh, also, your grandpa was old enough to be in okay. World War II. I feel like you're 12 years of, old. Shouldn't your grandpa be like 50? Uh, uh, lighting thing now. Can't much longer, can it? I've got... 
Because I'm. Can you see this? You got this, baby. I got it, baby. Oh, God. It, baby. I got it. Hello? Boom. Up. There Oops. Go. Up, up. There you go. And. Come on. Uh, Fuck. No, uh, god damn it. It's so. Uh, uh, the. 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 And I oop. And I oop. I'm stubborn. I, I'm going to do I it sat on my damn balls again. <laughs> and I oop. Blah, 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 blah. Hot head. I think it's time for me to watch Mr. Belvedere sitting on his balls again. And this is the nation's nightfall report. Tonight we bring you a special program where we take a closer look behind the scenes of a forthcoming television sensation. Masterminded by Graham Bannon, seen here at the Chesterton Casino, the project is as yet untitled. <laughs> Mr. Belvedere had to, to stop production multiple times because he sat on his Bannon balls. Bannon has just completed construction on this state-of-the-art studio and production facility. And Who had long balls? Fortune, Bannon decided to what the hell was the name of the guy who played Mr. Belvedere? Or was it just Mr. Belvedere? Come in. Is documentary? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry? Um, no. But, wait, but is it something that I should go outside before you ask? No. Okay. Um, I just I will help with that. All right, we're going to be right back. I'm going to be right here. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> this seems like a one-man job. <laughs> watch your mouth while I always watch my mouth when Adam's not around. <laughs> Even more so. 